So I'm often asked, what are the favorite things I like to cook in the outdoors? I'll have that answer coming right up. Cooking in the outdoors can offer some challenges, but you know, with a little prep at home and the right tools, well, you can turn out some pretty amazing dishes. The cast iron Dutch oven is a versatile cooking system that, with a little practice, can handle just about any kind of culinary challenge. Like any cast iron product, you have to take some precautions with these ovens to prevent rusting. So a coat of oil before and after use is required. This also helps with the seasoning of your pot. Ensuring your oven has legs so that it can sit over top of the briquettes or other heat source is a must. Also, make sure the lid has a rim in order to keep the embers from falling off. Barbecue briquettes are a great consistent heat source for this kind of cooking. Just remember to have good ventilation and keep the flame away from any flammable material or these guys will be showing up for real. Apple pie is one of the items on the menu today. To save a little time, I like to use the frozen pie crust. Add the apples, then leave the rest to your imagination. In my case, some cinnamon, brown sugar will do just fine. And once I figure out how to get that second pie crust free, okay, not the prettiest looking pie, but hey, that's outdoor cooking. The next step is distributing the briquettes. Basically, two-thirds of the heat needs to come from the top of the oven. By keeping a cooler on the bottom, well, that's going to help prevent burning. And there's also one more step required. When you are cooking, doesn't matter how evenly distributed your, your fire is, one of the key things you want to do, especially when you're cooking um, pies that don't have any kind of uh, cover on the bottom, is rotate the pots. What you're going to do is you'll pick up the whole pot, turn it a quarter this way, and then a quarter turn with the lid the opposite direction. Okay, yeah, we're good. Ah, we can smell it. So with the pie out of the oven and resting, I turn to the main course. In this case, I'm going to combine mousse and venison into a stew. I marinated the meat overnight in a light ale with seasonings. It's just a matter of cutting the meat into bite-sized pieces. Adding them to a hot pot and giving a quick sear. Chopped onions. Another can of light ale. Beef broth. Carrots and a variation to dumplings. Use some French bread spread with mustard. Drop that into the mix. Simmer for about another 20 minutes. Smelling good over there? <laughs> and then wait for the reviews. So, What's the verdict, guys? Good. Okay, very good. Yeah. What are you doing tomorrow night? <laughs> <laughs> so Dutch oven cooking, more of an art than a science, but what a great way to cap off a day around the campsite, or in this case, in front of Cabela's store. Our compliments to the chef. <laughs> <laughs> you know, not bad. Well, I hope you liked that story. If you did, uh, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my Let's Go Outdoors YouTube channel. Till next time, I'm Michael Short, Let's Go Outdoors.